University, Eastern Colorado. How do I find this lab? It's in the science building. Looks like a giant mirror and you can't miss it. You take care of that wife of yours. There's a place for you here. You know? You good? I'm good. Adios, little brother. Yeah, that feels like the appropriate number of tappy tags. Thank you. Are those monkeys? Yeah, a whole mess of them. Had the best of intentions. Get them. Tonight we dine on monkey. That was kind of awesome. First time seeing a monkey? First time seeing a monkey. All right. God, this game came out in 12, 2013. 2018 the game still looks amazing all right when last we were here we had looted this upper area uh we were about to basically do like a whole bunch of exploration of the of the college area i think that's what we'll jump back into now i don't know that it counted uh i don't know that it counted what we got done here as far as like picking up items and and putting stuff away oh shit When last we were here, we hung out with Joel's bro and defended the hydroelectric plant. We went to a house and found Ellie kind of stowed away, um, but managed to act like we were Hawkeye and the Avengers and put arrows in about nine different dudes, which I'm not going to lie, felt pretty good. We do need to loot this area again, it turns out. Nothing in here, but it did draw our attention to health kits are now upgraded. Naughty Dog makes the best shit. I like I I had seen bits of this game and had wanted to play it for years, and it wasn't until it wasn't until chat basically fronted the money for a playthrough uh, that I got fired up to to finally get it done. So uh, that is not enough for us to health up or do anything. I think we go listen mode distance the next time. Somebody said uh, weapon sway again. We'll see. I have no idea how much further into the game we actually have to go. I did nest. I like. I did absolutely want to get a playthrough of this game in before The Last of Us Two comes out because I can almost guarantee you that that's a thing that's going to happen um, on this channel. There's just no way I don't play that. And then Chat did play for it. Pay for a, a dad of boy playthrough. So, oh, am I really full on those? Oh, but I don't have any binding. I guess I... Can I make another bomb? Oh, I'm full on bombs. Crazy. Alright, well. Huh. It was funny. We got to play this one of the first days that we came back and... Uh, played for charity. And of course, it just kind of continued to tug on the, on the heartstrings. Between all the conversations we were having about St. Jude... And just like, oh, the love of kiddos is strong in this game. Teddy says, I, I don't want to be the boo-boo bee-boo here, but I don't think this game is so amazing. It's well acted and looks stunning, but it revolves around repetitive combat and not that much variety. I mean, you can say that it's a specific genre. It's a type of game, right? It's a type of game the same way that, uh, like, Dead Rising was super repetitive. Uh, with a handful of cinematics popped in. Uh, but... If you find, like I say, if you, if I find the gameplay enjoyable, I mean, in some case, in a game as pretty and as well acted as this, if I found the gameplay e even mediocre at best, I would probably still be able to endorse it. Um, you know, like the dead, the dead rising stuff. I was like, the gameplay is, is some places wasn't wasn't only repetitive; it was just okay. Uh, but I absolutely. Maybe these guys like to keep a low profile. Oh, am I supposed to bring her with me? Hmm. I'm just doing all this shit on foot. 
But yeah, like Dead Rising was one of those situations where I was just like, yeah, this is, you know, sometimes the what what is accomplished in the game is repetitive, but like when it's crafted as well as uh, like uh Red Dead Redemption, same thing. I got really sick and tired of collecting herbal plants and remedies in Red Dead, but when I think back to Red Dead, you know, am I am I thinking back to Red Dead and thinking about how I hated collecting, you know, going on fetch quests? No, I'm thinking back to the fact that it was probably the best money I've spent on a video game in a given decade. I'm not saying your opinion is wrong, and I'm not saying that, you know, you weren't allowed to dislike this game. I'm just saying, like, my, my hot take on that is that most games are like that. I can't think of any game that I played that was revolutionary from start to finish. In including, you know, oh, this gameplay, man. There's nothing about it that's ever... See it. This is good. First sign of fireflies. I can't think of anything that, like, from tops to bottom, I was just like, oh, well, this is revolutionized. I, I, this, I've never played a video game like this before. Isaac? Uh, Legend of Zelda. Isaac was, Isaac was repetitive from the day that I first played it, but I like it so much. Like, the, the gameplay is not necessarily why I buy into it. It's, it's the fact that they took Zelda and they put a whole bunch of item interaction into it. GTA, I'd, I'd spot you like the first real couple of G, like GTA, like, uh, Two. was it three? Grand Theft Auto three that was the big revolutionary one. The first really successful big open world video game which is which was GTA which is why I kind of feel that like I played GTA and I played the shit out of it but Red Dead was like the the first one that really hit me hard but yeah GTA 3 I give you that one was like a revolutionized game from top to bottom and even that one had some repetition in that there were a lot of like side quests and fetch quests that you got you got sent on but the the entirety of the rest of the game was so um awe-inspiring that, you know, you, you got past that. Alright, Teddy, sounds good, man. I appreciate you stopping in. Need adhesive. you have any duct tape in these dorms where we are finding meds for days nine goddamn months of waiting still nothing no word from anyone found some additional cans of food in the dining commons but they won't last had an incident in the Easter Hall barricade but everything's still secure caught a glimpse of a group of those things running around uh, I saw one that looked like Heather maybe it was Heather fuck since the batteries are running short, I now only listen to the radio once a night. Um, whoops. Oh, scroll text. It's been three fucking months. Why do they even bother? Cheryl was smoking out yesterday. She needed it. She got pissed when I threw out her stash. She doesn't get it. We need to keep a clear head here. Someone's got to go into town and get the worst supplies. It's probably going to be me. wonder how long you held out. As I say, good for, good for this person for being on their game. See, the apocalypse hasn't really changed the cleanliness of college dorms. Really enjoyed Heavy Rain. Maybe I thought it was a game I didn't want to play at first. I, I've always been interested in Heavy Rain. I've never watched a playthrough of it because I always thought that that might be a game I'd lay hands on and it seemed different enough to not want to have the narrative spoiled. Oh, there's really nothing in here. Hey, I like ammo for that gun. I have that queued up, right? Is that reloaded? Matter of fact, are all my weapons that could be reloaded, reloaded? I don't have enough to reload the, uh... Leave that one. Psychotic says, uh, in the game design, there's something called a core gameplay loop. By definition, games are designed to be repetitive. It's the it's if the repetition entertains you or not that makes or breaks a game. Yeah. Damn it, spores. Oh. 
shit. Well, I, don't, I don't want there to be spores. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess I'm going down here. I didn't mean to go down here. I want to throw it out here that I didn't mean to go down here. And yet here I am, I guess. shivs clickers man why has it got to be clickers hey jack lafere just hosted us up man what's going on my friend welcome everybody my name's taffy i play normally the binding of isaac but today i turned on my playstation uh i sincerely was just trying to get it warmed up so that i could switch to this game in a little bit but it took over my uh, output on my OBS, so now this is the now this is the game I'm playing. So we're playing The Last of Us. Welcome everybody. I am in a moment of uh, <laughs> in a moment of high tension. Trying to work my way through infected, aka zombies. Nobody wants to call them zombies. I say the post-apocalyptic world's gotten too PC. They're zombies. We don't need to call them infected. So many clickers, man. <laughs> Thank God I came down here with shivs. What the fuck is that groaning? Like, is that a boomer? What is that? Is that a like a big mamma jambo? What's hiding in here? Duct tape. Oh, thank God, dude. Can we craft more shivs? I would like to craft more shivs, please. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Replayability is good, but a single experience story, sound design, etc. stays with you. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I didn't go through and replay God of Wars. But, like, like the old God of Wars, I didn't go through and replay... Oh, is that just the one? I didn't go through and replay old God of Wars, but I definitely remember the story and the, the storyline and all that. I missed. Uh, this thing's beastly. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm ready to pick that up. Time for diplomacy is finished. Put on the helmet. Oh, 
<laughs> God damn, this thing's gnarly and mean. Do we flamethrower it? I've, we have. Oh shit! We haven't flamethrowered anything yet. Maybe we should flamethrower this guy. Are you, are you, are you, is this? Maybe it just burns? Any, anything? Yo! Oh, nope, 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 nope. Hey, we did it, chat. Our powers combined. Uh, let's reload that, I guess. Zayden Wolfio, what's going on, my man? Welcome. I feel like we're probably safe to just kind of chill. I'm going to make one of these, I think, and one more med kit. I actually think I'm... Yeah. I don't use bombs. I feel like I should use bombs. Uh, that dude had a firefly pendant in him. That's reloaded. Now we can pick up all these extra, like, shiv pieces we've been finding. And we can adequately, adequately loot. Loot the way that Taffy likes to loot. I don't want to jinx it. Like, we could die here in a second. But I feel like we handled that floor not so bad. Do I have- oh, I have a machete. Good to know. I don't think- did I take any damage? Like, any physical damage? Hey, Taffy, can you check out the posters in that room again when you get a chance? I know the game decks like to hide Easter eggs in those. I want to see what they did. Yeah, Templar, I got you. Uh, do I have a projectile? I don't. All right, I'm looking uh, looking for posters for you. Family family pictures it looks like. Oh my, hell yeah. Oh, they anticipated that we were going to need to make uh shivs. So they left us shiv stuff everywhere. Let me go ahead and actually make one now if I can. We are the the whisperer of clickers, man. Gross. Halican drops. Henry Dash. Jet Bumpatio. Chump. Or champ. Champion Joe Marquez. Don't tell Joe Marquez I called him a chump. Bunch of, of, of sports posters in the room that has the. Uh, in the room that has the football helmet in it, so that makes sense, I suppose. Hey, Tavi, you know how people, uh, figured out how to unlock the Forgotten? Are you asking me if I know how to unlock it, or are you asking me if I know how people figured it out? Because that's, I'm pretty sure that was just data mining. Um, but if you're asking me how you do it, you... Damocles Rising? Vengeance, Blood Samurai, Mental Mansion, Panda Patriot. I thought that said Panda Express, and I was gonna be really excited for a second. Um, unlock the Forgotten. You beat the first floor boss in under a minute, and then go back and bomb the first room you were in. Drops you a uh, shovel handle that you take to Boss Rush. You beat Boss Rush, you get the other half of the shovel. Then you take that to the dark, the dark floor, the dark room. And you find a shallow grave and you dig him up. Proteus Glitch, what's going on, man? Oh, data mind, yeah. As far as I know, it's data mind. There's no way it comes that information comes out that fast. There's no way that, that information about that comes out that fast. How would anybody have ever known to have gone back and bombed that main room? I think that was for people who. I think that was for people who chose to do that in stealth mode. 
I did not choose to do that in stealth mode. I went through and killed all those things. Proteus Glitch, how are you, man? Is there anything on this floor that I need to be worried about? More infected, I'm fine. Okay. Well, if we're at a place where we're talking to Ellie and not really acting scared, then I'm gonna go ahead and finish looting. Alive and awake, really like best half you stream the other week. I, we gotta get her back in here. Newspaper clipping. Uh, recall search effort. Latest World Health Organization reports estimating as much as 60% of the world's population is either dead or infected. Quarantines. Found this in town. Nobody's coming. Ugh. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah, dude. Uh, we gotta figure out what we're having her play next. Everybody seems to want her to play Life is Strange, which is not something I've ever watched. Or uh, that she knows anything about. So that could actually be really, really cool. Um, but also people are, are, are sort of batting around things like the Unfinished Swan. Which I think is a console game only? Another thing I don't know anything about, it was from the people who made Edith Finch. But the Edith Finch, yeah, I, I sacrificed sleep and didn't go out to party because Amber's stream with Edith Finch I thought was, you know, not to toot our own horn, it was really entertaining. Welcome back, Taz. Uh, pretty sure this still ranks as my all-time favorite game, the only thing that could have made it better. Sex robots. Got to make a journey to home. See you guys, uh, Taffy and Chat. Winners, thanks for coming out. I appreciate you being here. Travel safe. Oh, she's over there. All right. I just want to make sure I'm not getting crept up on. Guess that we need to hook this up to the generator cables. I'm not 100% certain that I know how electricity works, but it's like a garden hose, right? Like that's the hose filled with all the electricity, and you just plug it in. Amber's stream was top notch, which is what we expected from a best taffy stream. Yeah, she wasn't super nervous, but she got over it really fast. I was actually thoroughly entertained. <laughs> She's already as good, if not better, than me at reading chat, which is really unnerving. Let's try the gate. Ha, you did it! Yeah. Come on through. I was very excited to watch Best Happy Play tuned in, watch the baby drown itself, and had to tap out. Yeah, Edith Finch was a screwy story. There's a lot of death in that. There's a lot of death in that game. I mean, it was all about game, all about death. No. Wow, no, we are wasteful so. with resources, man. Why would they have infected so close to the lab? Well, Bill used them as a form of defense. Maybe they're doing the same. Yeah, I could see that. Is there anything to explore, grab? Just want to make sure I'm not leaving, like, medicine or anything behind. Generator setup isn't actually bad and does make sense. I believe it. I find it... I find it wasteful. I find it wasteful of Joel to just leave it running like that. That's a leaf. I thought that was a fire. No guards. No nothing. Yeah, I'd expect to see someone by now. Let's get inside. Just being thorough and looking around. I don't want to miss any f freebie items that might be laying around. Yeah, Joel doesn't give a shit. That's like super wasteful. We're going to dismount long enough to pick stuff up, I think. Have you ever been to one of these? What, university? Yeah. <laughs> no, not as a student, at least. Why not? Uh, I had Sarah when I was pretty young. Hmm. Were you near? For a while. What happened? Okay. Too much? Too much. Damn, Joel. It's been 30 some odd years since you either split up with your wife or she banged a plumber or whatever. If 
if you've been so emotionally closed off that you have not talked about this one time to anybody, and Ellie is pushing too hard, asking some simple ass questions that you would have had to have felt fielded with any other human being on the planet, you are being an emotional version of reserve that I do not believe to be healthy. It's true, he's not being pissy about it now, which is a step in the right direction. Scoot you on back. Science lab. I'm gonna guess... I'm gonna guess we... Did we, we started looting down here, right? There was stuff on the table. Oh, I didn't get whatever the hell's over here. Grab some gears. Sounds like the ravens are still alive and well. Oh, hello. Ammunition gladly accepted. Well, scoot. He's opening up a bit. He's making progress. That's fair. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I can't tell if they're resupplying me because they know that I just spent a lot of gear fighting the clickers. Or if they're setting me up for a fight because there's no one here and it's scary and overrun. Are we ever going to find living fireflies? We better. I'm a little unnerved by the lack of fireflies. You know what I mean? No, that looks like there's all of the all the looting and exploring that is to be done here. Scooch. Or at least in this little little tiny corner. His wife probably left him for being such an emotional douche. Feels accurate. Keep expecting to jump over one of these barriers and basically catch catch Ford mode right in the eye. Oh, thought that was something to loot. Just a sign. Nothing down there. Not. What about over there? Yeah, that looks like a way in. Uh, no trespassing and barbed wire. I get that you're pointing me in the right direction, game. I'm just saying. That was an awkward line of sight. Not to sound like a douche, man, but, uh... I wonder where my wife is. I need lunch. Go back. Oh, you know what? I could go do leftover Indian food. That wouldn't take but a minute. Oh, you mean you want me to pull? I mean, yeah, it's rusted shut. I'll have to find another way. Maybe we can get over it. Could just heave your happy ass up over the gate. Hmm. Go back. All right. Let's go. Maybe it's something over here. Jesus, this place is not feeling inviting. Ow, man. I just got like a stabbing pain in my eye. Sounds like Ellie just played Getting Over It with, uh, with Foddy. I played that game for about a minute. Basically just noped my way right out of it. Is this somewhere where my ladder expertise comes in? Alright, so clearly there's a bunch of electrical stuff set up.
there a place where I could ladder or ramp? What say you, chat? Point me in the right direction. When it had me look, it had me look up there at that window. But it doesn't look like there's any other way in. Because of the barbed wire and the, the, the barricades that are set up over here. Move a dumpster. There you go. It's crazy because that looks like... That looks polished enough. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like if I wanted to get over that fence, I would totally get over that fence without the dumpster. All right, not what I had in mind, but it'll do. Yeah, I feel like I would I would get that. I would This is not a this is not an intimidating fence. Please. There we go. All right, so now we there's not enough water for the pallet to be useful. But could you get a horse over that fence? Dude, I'm not even tying the horse up. If the zombies show up and that horse gets spooked, it's just going to bolt. So, what does it even matter? Joel's already proven that he gives zero shits about resources or preservation of resources. Ellie doesn't give a shit about the fact that she's clearly standing in the way. You know what I mean? Up, up, and away. They simply squeeze through the bars. Yeah, it didn't seem like that tight a fit. You know what I mean? All right, we're inside. Come on, kiddo. Give me your hand. <laughs> Way to brag about your fence climbing skills, Guardian. Thanks. That sounds like a line from Ghost and Destiny Let's too. Look around. That was a game that came out about a year ago. If you haven't played it or have forgotten about it. Make sure I had any ammunition reloaded. Uh, what have I missed? Uh, not a lot. There's been looting. And uh, I did make my way through a horde of clickers and felt pretty good about it. I hawk-eyed a little bit again. Hey! I feel like I've missed a toolbox somewhere along the way. Pistol upgrades. Shotgun upgrades. Ugh. Armor piercing. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This thing is useful. This is a useful weapon to have. Anything for this? No. Revolver upgrades. Might as well. I gotta spin the gears on something. That'll do. She went that way, so I'm gonna start looking this direction. There's electricity in this place. Madness. They totally should make a sequel to Destiny since they haven't yet. Worst 100 bucks I've spent and had to take this side job breaking a, uh, fixing a broken sewer line to come up with the cash for it. I'm extra salty about D2. Yeah, I, I spent... Technically, I brought, bought the PlayStation for it. So there's however much a PlayStation costs. I bought the $100 package on PlayStation and on PC. I never even got past like level 11 on PC because I just uh, once there was a level cap fireflies care for mankind over here anyone let's keep it down until we figure out what's going on I couldn't bring myself to play through the place where they had the artificial caps in place where they were like 
hey, yeah, you're not allowed to go to such and such world until you hit level blank. And I was like, yeah, I'm good. I don't want to do that again. I was like, I don't want to level grind through the narrative so that I can become raid worthy on a second source. Nah, if you bought a PlayStation 4, is for Last of Us and Bloodborne. That, I mean, that was the reason that I got a PlayStation instead of a instead of an Xbox, was because I knew that Bloodborne was here, Last of Us was here. Uh, I've not played Uncharted, but from what I'm told, Uncharted is on all these games. Uh, I'm really big into, like, the narrative-driven... Uh, I'm really big into, like, the narrative-driven... Yeah, hell yeah. Alright. I'm really big into, like, the narrative-driven games like this. Molotovs. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Damn, I wish I'd known that before. Our tools are completely upgraded now. Jason Yang, violin with the auto host. God, I miss that guy. I wish I had more time to spend in his channel. If you don't watch Jason Yang jam on occasion, you're, you're missing out. That dude is entertaining AF to watch. He just did a dual stream with uh, Chewy Melodies. It was incredibly entertaining. Just making sure that there wasn't a kid next to you this time. Um, I need to pick up Final Fantasy 15 again. Faram, did you see there was a partner broadcaster that came in here the other day who's a Final Fantasy player uh, by the name of, uh, of, of Sham that I hung out with at uh, St. Jude, who's super cool. Chewy is so talented. Yeah. The only two games that make me want to buy consoles The Last of Us 2 and Persona 5. Dad of War. Dad of War is definitely next. Uncharted is a big pile of shit, so I don't suggest it. Just watch a movie. That's fair. I literally have never watched a moment of gameplay for it. When we were at St. Jude, we did see a kid who was playing it in this, like, enclosed area. Oh, that feels like there needs to be something inside that duffel bag. There's a dude playing it inside this enclosed area, uh, a, a kid, like a 13-year-old, and all these Twitch streamers were like, oh, he's playing Uncharted, and we pressed up against the glass, and he turned to look, and the character died on screen, and we we're like, we are chat, and we just caused a death. What a-holes we are. All right, so that is there. Time to go to work. I ate the Indian food. Okay. I ate the meatballs last night. Okay. Because you said meatballs, and then I was just like, yo, I bet you I could eat those before ever. <laughs> So I ate those. <laughs> I bet you I can eat those before she ever stops me. Hey, man. Hey, Proteus Glitch fills up the cup with 20 bits. I appreciate that, sir. Yeah, I'm definitely upgrading the bow. I'm, I'm killing it with the bow of late. Uh, armor piercing clip capacity, fire rate. Clip capacity. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't like the fact that that thing holds one bullet at a time. And that basically eats up all we've got for... That basically eats up all we've got. Draw speed wouldn't be bad. Range. Ah, you know what? Flamethrower seems fine fight. enough. Alright, good to know. If we come across a whole bunch of extra gears in transit, then we'll uh, we'll come back to this. But hear about the big stretch goal that Taffy doesn't think we can reach? Is that the, the $35,000 one? The one that I basically said Elon Musk would have to drop into chat and be like, yo, Taffy, get an Isaac tattoo. Because right now we are sitting pretty... Nothing useful. Ain't nothing here but a bunch of medical mumbo-jumbo. How much? I don't get it. Fifty-six hundred dollars so like far. Just packed up and left in a hurry. Maybe not all of them. Stay close. All right. Well, we have looted this place up, down, and sideways. Doesn't look like there's anything to loot here. Stay close, dude. She leads the way. Do I have super hearing yet? Does weapon sway at 100 or listen distance? Hmm. 
Weapon sway is not really hurting us right now. All right. Take it for a test drive. Detective mode activated. All right, I don't see anything to loot here. So it looks like they're pushing us into a narrative line. I've never played a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> so how long is the stretch goal going to be? And is it a tattoo of Larry Jr. on your willy? Now, Nate wanted me to get Bumbo or uh, Gemini done on this literal tumor on my arm. I don't know what it would be. I, I toyed with the idea of doing a, a Binding of Isaac, uh, a Binding of Isaac tattoo somewhere on my body. I've, I, don't, bodies. I don't have a tattoo good, right? anywhere. We found out where they Unless went. you count me being stabbed by a pencil when I was in high school. Um, I don't know. I like the fact that we, like, regardless of whatever ends up happening, which is absolutely going to include me doing round two via an onion, um, that we've raised $5,600 for St. Jude so far. I'd like to get up to 88, 88, 88. That feels like the natural place to, to at least want to get for us. I've been to talking with chat, though, about kind of uh, the conflict that lives inside me where I still have to pay bills. I know that there are people out there that are like, everything for May, including their revenue, like everything that they make in bits and everything that they touch is going to end up becoming contributions to St. Jude. I'm not, no, I'm not sure that I'm swinging dick big enough that I can do that, but... Uh, let's make a new shiv as long as we're sitting here with all the all the stuffs to do it. We're on the verge of leaving things behind. Shivs are way too valuable to us. But I am super pleased and very like impressed with us and what we've managed to pull off so far. How long do we have for this stretch goal chat? Uh, end of May, the 31st of May. What is this? Office recorder, huh? We are 19th on the leaderboards globally right now. I didn't catch any of that, any of that but I caught, I caught pieces of that. Graham Pagan says, uh, you're doing what you can with what you got. There's some bigger streamers who aren't even raising money. Hats off to you. I, I appreciate that, man. I 100% um, absolutely have wanted to fundraise uh for charity since the moment that i realized i had an audience of any size um you know that's a testament to you guys and the fact that i have been able to pay my bills the last three months with the money that you've provided that you guys have put me in in such a good place uh that i've been able to actually turn my my sights to holy shit i actually think i can do charity a charity stream and not feel um like i'm leaving my family high and dry so that I could have the ego stroke of like, look what I did for charity. So, I appreciate that from you guys, not just you making a, an incredible dent in what I thought was an unreachable goal and doing it in less than a week. Um, but also just the, the simple fact that you put me in a place where I could consider doing this without stringing my family out. When you come out for TwitchCon, I get a tattoo with you. Mine won't be Isaac, but I'd emotionally support you. Thank you, Proteus Glitch. I appreciate that, man. Amber. It's just it's, it's production quality just means shit to you is what I'm getting. I just, oh. just can't. I knocked the tissues on the floor. Just can't get good help these days. Mm, no. Good thing you're hot. Oh. Is tissue here today? Am I dishonoring tissue by... No, I don't think Not tissues here. here are lurking today. Okay. People are asking when they're going to get another stream from you because, frankly... Um, guys, it's completely dependent on Ryan giving up the computer for long enough in the evenings. It's actually a really good point. I've he got a... works until I must sleep, so... <laughs> it's actually a pretty reasonable point. I was saying that, like, maybe if I could figure out how to do this data entry stuff that I'm doing for 99 lives... What the Shit. fuck? Ooh. Like on your laptop. Um, so it's probably clickers, right? 
No, clickers don't hide. Uh, Templar says we need to check our PO box. Oh, I did this week, but I will go tomorrow. Crazy Plop says, didn't you say Friday, uh, Friday evenings and nights? And then Ferrum says, move Fat Man and give us the best happy stream. <laughs> it's fair. Uh, yeah. I was thinking that may maybe if I could transition and do my work on my laptop and your laptop. Uh -huh. Jesus, Joel, could you make more noise? Is it actually possible? Do you want to just <laughs> pick that up and just <laughs> smash it against the walls while you walk? Um, it might be possible, but oh my god, he's dragging it back in. <laughs> Taffy, stop playing and let the professional start streaming. <laughs> I will figure out how to get out of your way. I, do you even know what we do? Life is strange. We'll give I guess? the first episode a try, um, and then we'll, either it'll just be the first episode, or we'll keep on going if we're all really bad. <sighs> Damn, Eastern Colorado was it? Eastern Colorado State University or Eastern Colorado University? This place was nice. This is a, a better research hospital than I've been led to believe when they recruited me. It's not real. It's still a nice place. Jesus. Oh, fucking monkeys, man. Oh, nice to eat clickers. Yeah. No fireflies either. Well, There's maybe in all that research, they turned into fucking monkeys. Ellie, language. <laughs> Just keep searching. We'll find something. Thank you for lunch. Shouldn't best tra Taffy try out the Stanley Parable? I think she's watched most of it. I'm sure glad we didn't mess with them monkeys. Didn't stay Next away. month's stretch goal is the no, best Taffy streaming working. PC. Oh my god, can you imagine? We turn Rory's room, what used to be Rory's room, into Amber's streaming, streaming office. Right now, it's just storage. There's a lot of, I'm gonna say tampons? Floating around in here. <sighs> There's a part of me that <clears throat> absolutely can appreciate the detail of like the level design and stuff stuff like that in this the fact that i i know full well that most of these things are repetitive in nature and i'm still like super curious to look around City. Is it far? It ain't close. I mean, on horseback. What? Fireflies? Get down! Oh. Sons of bitches. Looks like we're going up to Mormon country. Who the fuck are these guys? Probably the Mormons. No matter. We know where to go. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's 
Are there others coming that I should know about? I upgraded my meds to get super duper detective hearing. that I'm sorry I couldn't hear you over the death of your friend uh, let's change this out for our oh, our rifle doesn't have any ammunition in it Joel, either. Rest your right. oh shit you are absolutely correct Holy shit. <laughs> Good call out, Ellie. Like, I'm not gonna lie. That's some good comms right there. Find you, I haven't been really all that sneaky about it. If I'm being totally honest, stealth has not been my, my strong point right as of yet. Oh! Stealth has not been my strong suit. No, fuck that. Yeah, I was gonna say, bury that hatchet. Urgh. Let's be reasonable about this. Good shit, Ellie. Uh, go ahead and heal up. Cool. Well, we only have three rounds left for this. So let's go ahead and switch it out for the pistol since we have a lot of ammunition for that. And we'll reload. Dude parried my slash axe. Yeah, dude, Ellie's fine. She takes the occasional hatchet to the face like a champion. You know what I mean? Alright, that's just a garbage can. Are there any more dudes that you're just gonna spring on me in the not so distant future? Also, did any of these guys have loot? Did any of these guys have like shells that I didn't stop to pick up? That dude has a fresh axe, so we'll go ahead and grab that. That dude has a bottle. That's of no use. There's actually really good calls, call outs from Melly, man. She's more useful than I am in Fortnite. No. These guys didn't drop shit. That's another brick. Oh, that's a lot of bricks. That's a lot of nuts! Oh, yeah. Super, super quiet, Joel. Stealthy as always. All right. I guess we're going downstairs and looking for the horse. Oh. Oh. You, you gotta move. You gotta move. Okay. Now you've got... Okay. Ellie. Go back and forth between incredibly useful and totally the fuck in the way. Onto my murder axe, thank you. Uh, let's go and swap this out for the revolver since we got a ton of rounds on it. Reload it. Stay down. Yeah. I do like when you talk shit though. That'll be four bucks, baby. You want fries with that? Oh, hello. How many more of these guys are there? Did I not come this way before? Or did they just shut shut doors behind them? Oh, oh shit! B! Or not B. Well, it's X on a normal controller. Come on, man! I was smashing the little shit out of this thing. 
Got knocked off a second floor balcony into a piece of rebar and went through right okay. in our pelvic area. You're not okay, Joel. Now come on. I can hear my heart beating the headphones. Yeah. Hi, the Brad. The Brad thinks I look on Taffy's face. Hey, Jim, yeah, those right are now. kids. There's no one here. Hurry. Proteus glitch. Thank you for the bits, man. Falling bits. Realistic fall damage. You're doing good. I can't see Keep shit. Going. I can't see because of the blood loss. Through these double doors. Oh man. Here, lean on me. No. Well, can you walk? Yes. Then fucking walk. Don't be full of false, false hollow promises, hey, Joel. Hey, Taffy, man, what does it mean when there's like bits, but a lot of them? Book of Stoners, not Where's now. Thank you, sort of grown up for the bits. Just a little bit more. Oh, come on, Joel, straight line, buddy. Behind you. What? Uh, Ellie. Oh, the kid's Jesus, got a gun. He's got a gun. Dude, she's not even phased by the lead pipe to the face. Hey, Taffy, man, what does it mean when there's like bits, but a lot of them? Proteus, I've sort of grown up. Thank you guys for the bits. This is I gave me thank you for the auto host. You're so singing for me. Gucci, yeah, I didn't see the message if it if it showed up. I don't think it showed up. I think it canceled it out because the message was too long. Or maybe layer one cut it out. But yeah, I totally didn't see it. Sorry, brother. You tried it in Discord. I'll read it there. Come on. Come on, Joel. Fuck. That motherfucker's stealing our horse. At least having fucking zero of it today. Come on. Just get the horse. Alright. Joel, is now a bad time to ask you what happened between you and your wife, because I may not get another shot. Can you get on? Uh, uh. 